Good morning. We are here in St. George today and we are headed out to Quail Creek State Park, potentially Sand Hollow or both. We're still figuring that out. But Bree just booked a kayak rental at Dig Water Sports, which is on site at Quail Creek State Park. So we're heading out. It's just 20 minutes from our hotel here in St. George. The kayak rental we got was for two hours and it was $28 with tax. Um, so pretty awesome deal. It's gonna be a little bit windy today They said but it should be a fun day out in the water and we're gonna to try to get a drone permit at the state park <laughs> My new bucket hat, I think it's too big <laughs> Quail Creek State Park is a hidden gem in the town of Hurricane, Utah, which is just 15 minutes outside of St. George, which is in the southwest corner of the state. I went to Quail Creek a few years ago and it blew my mind just to see this beautifully aqua and green colored water under these massive desert cliffs and red rock of Utah. So to visit Quail Creek State Park, there is a resident day use fee, which is $15 per vehicle. The out-of-state visitor fee is $20 per vehicle, but we actually bought a Utah State Parks Pass. So I think this was like $100, but for the entire year of 2022, we can visit as many Utah State Parks as we want. So we just entered the state park. There's no one here. So maybe it's a little early season. It says 68 degrees in the car. Anyways, we asked the ranger about the drone permit and it was $5 for five days. She said she had never heard of it, but when she looked in the computer, it was right there. So super easy, um, five bucks. That's awesome and definitely worth it. And no one's out here. So should be able to get some pretty awesome drone shots of Brie out there on the kayak. The water looks really murky and just brown, but Kevin said it's cool from the aerial view, so let's see if he's right. We rented the kayak from Dig Paddle Sports, which is actually on site at the state park. So after you go in, pay the entrance fee, then you will find Dig pretty much right on the water. They were so awesome and helpful and accommodating to any of our requests. And they were just really nice. They rent a bunch of different things, you know, including kayaks and paddle boards. They have tours, events, and some classes. So they're an awesome company to check out. So bad at this. So Brie is off and on the water. We have a pretty busy schedule today, so I kind of wanted to just stay back and drone her, take photos of her. I have been here before. It is just so beautiful from the beach itself that I'm enjoying it. It's super peaceful. There's like nobody here today. So I'm gonna put up the drone and hopefully get some awesome shots of her.
Hi, I'm out here on the kayak. <laughs> my hat looks really ridiculous. Um, yes, I forgot my sunglasses in the car, but it's really nice out here. It's a perfect temperature, not too hot. It's cool, it's beautiful out here. I'm super glad we came here to do this and I really, really recommend it to anyone. Um, it could be fun for couples, friends, family. Um, it's sweet. I'm heading back now. Um, I can't film and show you guys my paddling. <laughs> Maybe that's for the best because I'm not very good. But uh, yeah, Kevin was droning me. It was pretty cool. Um, yeah, going back. I think I'm going against the current, so <laughs> that'll be fun. I was getting back on the current. It was hard. I like thought maybe I was going with the current out there because I'm like, huh, this is way more pleasant than I remember. <laughs> then that was why. Because <laughs> on the way back, I'm like, ah, <laughs> this is real kayaking. <laughs> so we had like one bar of service and we were actually able to communicate on the phone while I was taking drone photos and videos of Brie, which I think came out unbelievable. Really stoked on those. Hope you guys like those. But the last thing I heard her say was, I couldn't really understand it. I thought she was saying, I can't get back. And I was like, oh man, I know Brie on a kayak. And I thought she was gonna be going against the current. And when she got back here, she said what she was saying is, I saw a turtle. So lost in translation, but she's back. And that was a fun little afternoon here. I was just fine. <laughs> So if you're coming to St. George, I think you should definitely come check this out. Sand Hollow State Park is also just five minutes down the road, which is also really cool. But this has way less traffic than Sand Hollow. And honestly, like the national park is incredible and it's one of our favorites. There are so many other things to do in St. George and in Hurricane Utah. So definitely check it out. It is a must do. And this is an awesome place to spend an afternoon. And there's camping, lots of water sports, fun stuff. Fun stuff. <laughs> All right, if you guys enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. We'll see you yes, later. Yes, bye.